Currently, Congresswoman Karen Bass is at the center of the movement, not to mention she is being talked about as a potential vice presidential candidate. Well, Bass chairs the Congressional Black Caucus, and she's been fighting for decades to change policing. The House bill would ban chokeholds, no knock warrants in federal drug cases, and would make it easier to punish police misconduct. I spoke today with the Congresswoman who told me she's confident she can get the bill through with Republican support. So I'm actually very optimistic, and that's because I talked to so many of my Republican colleagues. First of all, three of them voted for the bill. That's a really big deal. Well, we have to get this done now. The momentum is now. The people are in the streets now. And you know, in, in our American culture, we have very short attention spans. If you don't get something done when the pressure is there, it is very hard to get it done. Anything regarding who the vice president chooses to be his vice presidential candidate uh, is, is up to the campaign. What I can tell you is that I am going to work every single day. I think, I think we have 130 days left because electing Biden as president of the United States, in my opinion, is a matter of life and death. Well, Bass also told me Biden is the best person to help get the country through the pandemic because he would be more empathetic to the situation. She wouldn't say if she would accept an offer to be Biden's running mate, but she did, did say that she would do whatever she could to help get him elected. Bass is in her fifth term representing the 37th district.